What's up guys, Resident Dog with you. Today, we're going to be installing something new on my GNU. I'll show you one of the pieces of it before we get everything unboxed. That is the ins one of the two inside transom plates. And if you know anything about the GNUs and what's going on, you'll know that uh, that's for a brand new jack plate. Hang tight, let's get it unboxed, I'll show you what I got. All right, so uh, let's check out what I got. It's like I showed you in the uh, intro. Here are two of the inside transom plates. Uh, have one top, one bottom inside the transom for a little more stability on the transom. It's a nice uh, aluminum embroidered advanced manufacturing groove in. Now for the main show. Advanced manufacturing. All right. So some paperwork inside. Take a quick look at this here. This is your uh, instructions. Give you your what size wrenches you'll need. Three quarter inch for adjusting the side bolts and nine sixteenths for adjusting the uh, up and down bolt and the installation bolts as well. Final assembly, inspection sheet. Yeah, thank you for your purchase. Not a whole lot there. <laughs> Chunk that to the side, and we'll take a look at the main show. Here's my mounting bolts, which you can you can order from them. They come with the, the nylock. I got some uh, anti-seize on them and uh, new washers. They're ready to rock and roll. Set those to the side and we'll look at the jack plate. So here's advanced manufacturing jack plate. It's got a nice piece of inch thick starboard back there. Uh, it's got your four bolts on both sides to lock it down once you get to your the height that you want. One thing I did like about this one is on the inside, it's got a bolt there. So when you loosen these up, you can screw this down or up to raise and lower your motor. And once you get to the right spot, you can lock it in with the side bolts. Um, so let's uh, get the gear into the garage and uh, get her put on. All right, so we got the Ginyu in the garage, and uh, time to start working on her. We get the motor, the old 99 off, and uh, bring the jack plate put on. So we get my 99 off. I gotta undo my lock, and then it's got two bolts here that uh, came from the factory, and pull those off and uh, get the motor off. All right, one of the uh I had to figure out was how high I wanted the motor. Uh, I did a lot of research online to try and figure out where the cavitation plate should be in relation to the keel. Um, everything I found online says the cavitation plate it varies from a half inch below to dead even to a half inch above. So. The easy way to figure that out is a nice straight edge, tape measure, pour the straight edge on the keel of your boat, and you figure out where your cavitation plate is in relation to the keel. In my case, I'm an inch and a half 
inch and a half below my keel. So we figured out that the anti-ventilation plate, cavitation plate, it's called two different things, is an inch and a half below my keel. So looking at my jack plate, with a straight edge on there, I end up with two inches of vertical additional height if I mount this flush with the transom. So this flush with the transom, this is two inches high, that's going to put my cavitation ventilation plate a half inch above my keel, which is right in the wheelhouse of what I've been looking at. I'm going to build in some adjustment with it. Because on this, it's got two holes on the top, two holes on the bottom. So I've already marked them to mount it with the bottom holes. Flush. So worst case scenario, if that if mounting it with this flush and a half inch above the keel doesn't work and I start to get cavitation, these holes are an inch apart. I can drop this down an inch and that will put that cavitation plate an inch or half inch below the keel. This also has three inches of vertical adjustment. So either way, I should have enough play with it mounting it flush or dropping it down that one inch hole to be able to dial it in perfectly. It's going to take some testing and that's half the fun. So I'm going to end up replacing the tiller handle with the five inch setback. It's going to be short. It was already short enough when I was running with it. So get that off. Easy peasy. Save that. So just a quick update on the uh, Vance jack plate as well. I have a 2019 Merck 99 four stroke and this isn't thick enough to mount the motor on. The uh, clamps actually bottom out. So I've seen some guys use a piece of starboard is what I got I didn't like the way it looked just a cheap chintzy piece of starboard guy gave me for free so I went to Home Depot and found a piece of aluminum flat bar cut it in three sections and thickened for the motor clamps found the same hardware Nylock nut, used a uh, paddle bit, drill the holes, and made it thicker. Works perfect now. So, I took the jack plate apart for two reasons. First, as you saw, to add the uh, thicker pieces of aluminum in here for the motor bracket. And two, to make drilling four holes easier. So let's get her clamped up and uh, get the holes drilled. Alright, so get this uh, clamped up. I just redone uh, 
inside of my transom. So uh, I don't want to mess it up and use gel coat to use that old piece of starboard. Get her nice and level. And make sure it's uh, even on the transom. Even on the transom. Nice and even at the top. Nice and solid. So it's even both sides here and even across the top. Drill our holes. Alright, 5 16 drill bit. Let's do it. Top two holes, I'm going to have to pull that off, get all the way through. And there we go. Well, it turns out the 5 16 bit wasn't big enough, so I got to go up to 3 8 both a little thicker than I thought. So let's get these drilled again and Like a glove. Top bolt lengths are perfect. I hope the bottom ones are just as good. Should be with the uh, uh, well as you can see top bolt are perfect. Plate on there. Perfect. However, the bottom bolts are too long. So, I'm going to have to uh, go to a hardware store and get some uh, shorter bolts. Darn it. We had two long bolts. We went to the hardware store. Found the stainless steel bolts, three and a half inch for the top, two and a half inch for the bottom. Got some caulk that we put around the holes here and get it put on.
give one more little tweak, make sure it's a good nod. Voila, there she is. So putting the uh, back piece back on, your pieces, you got a bolt, a washer, a spacer, and another washer. The spacers go in the grooved ones. Okay, a little bit of trial and error. Um, you obviously you can't get the motor on when the jack plate is all the way down. You can't get the clamp tightened down. So, jack plate raised already up. Second round. Here we go, final product. All right, so there's a pretty in-depth how-to on how to install Vance's manual jack plate on the 15.4 Ginu. All that's left to do is get her on the water, a little test and tune, dial it in, and get her ready for some die-hard fishing. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming video on the test and tune session on the water. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.